and drift kit, whether it was sailing a dinghy, paddling a kayak, trail running, swimming from our boat to shore, or jumping off the stern into the Middle East or the Georgia. I was up for every challenge. When I was little, my mom and dad would tie the family's inflatable kayak to the stern of our boat. My sister and I would hop in and paddle out as far as our leash would allow us and paddle back. My favorite story of adventure happened when I was four. We were at anchor and as always, I was paddling around in the kayak when a wave hit just the right way. The kayak tipped. My mom, who was watching from the boat, stood up, yelled, Nicole, Nicole, and was getting ready to jump in. To her delight, my little hands appeared on either side of the kayak lifted it up, and moved it over to one side. I swam to the boat with the paddle in my hand. My mom helped me aboard, and all I had to say was that was cool. Not much shaped me up. I have had a great life filled with amazing opportunities, but I have no adult skills. Fast forward to grade four. Grade four. Letter grade. Intermediate studies. No more split classes high expectations, and little support. I was stressed. We were doing projects and assignments beyond our grade level. I was doing okay in school, but I was always used to excelling. So I set pretty high and impossible standards for myself that weren't achievable. I'd ask for help. You should know this, my teachers would say. I'd ask again. The response would change. I was stuck and my anxiety grew. I lost sleep and self-confidence. And I started becoming not a very nice person as I tried to deal with the pressure. Then I got my first in report card. Not bad grades, but what did kill me was that I got a C in phys ed. How could I? This active, adventurous kid get a C in phys ed. I was cut. I went home and cried. And thus began a silent cycle of feeling that I was not good enough. You're fat. You're bossy. You're ugly. You're blonde. You look like a pig. Wow, Nicole, if you don't understand, you must be stupid. What may have meant an innocent teasing started to feel deep. I began to believe the worst of words, and so did the little voice in my head. You know, the one that always says, Nicole, you got this, you can do it. That voice started to tell me that I couldn't. I took these words to heart. I believed them, and began to see myself differently in the mirror. I didn't like what I saw. I stopped doing the things that I loved for fear of what others thought of me. I had completely lost confidence in myself and gone with the adventurous Nicole. That summer was one that I am not proud of. I wasn't doing anything and was resistant to everything. I was invited for walks or trail runs and I grumpily responded, no. I was invited to swim to shore or jump off the boat mid-straight and my response was still no. Often followed by a, I don't feel up to it. There are no flipping kayaks, never mind much paddling at all. I read a lot that summer. My mom, realizing something was up, invited me to talk. We did. I was sad. I missed the old Nicole, but I was reassured that she was still there, just way deep inside. I was getting higher marks in school and thinking to more naturally, and I really liked my teachers. You're fat. You're blonde. You're ugly. You're bossy. You're annoying. Those words were still there. They echoed around me and they hurt. I was feeling better and more confident, but I still didn't believe in myself. I started Soul Girls at the end of grade four, but it was in grade five that Soul Girls started a ripple effect that eventually turned into a huge wave that led to me being happy with myself again. Soul Girls is a program that empowers girls to be themselves and to not change who they are. My definition of empowerment is giving someone the authority to do as they wish in life. Soul Girls gives girls a place to show their own personal power and to be on top of the world. Some of the topics we covered were friendships, frenemies, you know those people you think are your friends but really aren't, eating healthy, body image, the importance of moving our bodies and mental health, photoshopping and media messages, and most importantly, how to find your inner awesomeness. We cover all of this while training for a five kilometer run. Soul Girls was my weekly brain break. I could go there and say anything I wanted to say and not have to worry about being, being bullied or teased. Some weeks I felt like the weirdest person in the group, but I didn't care 
because I was being who I wanted to be and I was being celebrated for being strong-willed, unique, and a leader. Soul Girls also taught me how to be a better friend to those who deserve it. My school friendships improved. The name calling had stopped, but I felt safe enough to tell a classmate what was going on. The next thing I knew, I was being pulled from class. My friends had spoken up on my behalf. They didn't like what was going on. The bully's parents were called, and they were sent home with a very strong warning, whereas I was sent home with a huge good feeling in my heart. The next day, I walked into school with the biggest smile on my face. People said that I had looked like I'd won the lottery, and in so many ways, I had. I felt self-confident and amazing. I ran my first 5K that year and learned how to find my happy place so I could run the same speed the entire way. My marks quickly went to straight A's, including PE, and I made better clothing and clothing and food choices, which led me to having a healthier perception of my body. The summer between grade 5 and 6 was what I like to call the summer of me. I did everything I used to do, and even more. Swimming, kayaking, trail running, we had to help our boat into the state of Georgia, and I even did paddle boarding. I started dinghy racing at Rocky Point in Port Moody. I crossed the finish line of my first regatta, third to last, but I didn't care because I lo had finished and loved what I was doing. This past school year has been amazing. I made my goal to do a multitude of extracurricular activities. I tried out for the cross country running team and made it. The school swim team was a huge success and I am definitely doing school and sailboat club again next year. My favorite though was putting together a three girl triathlon team. We didn't place, but we finished and had a ton of fun. The best part of this year is that I am truly being me. This journey has taught me so many things. One, that I'm not alone. The person sitting next to you may be going through the exact same thing that I did, but if you don't talk to each other with open hearts and kindness, you'll never know or understand. And most importantly, if you believe in yourself, in your heart, believe in yourself, you'll never believe what others try to say to bring you 